Hi, I'm Athena from Learning English with Athena. And this is a grammar lesson now. This lesson will help you to speak and to write more correctly in English. What we're gonna to do today is we're focusing on the difference between the two very commonly confused words. Few and little. We're gonna learn the difference between these two words, right? Few and little. But we're also gonna take it a step higher to a more advanced level. And we're going to learn the difference between few and a few and little and a little. Because if you don't know that there is a difference, you might be surprised to learn that there is a big difference. All right? So you will learn all of that in this lesson. And it will help you to make fewer mistakes when you're communicating in English. So let's get started. So, first of all, what we need to understand when we're talking about these words, few and little, is we need to understand the concept or the idea, which I hope that you have learned already about countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Now, in the lesson, I'm not going to explain in detail about the countable and uncountable nouns. If you're not sure what those are, then please check another lesson of mine, which I have explained that in general detail. Go back and watch that. But you can still watch this here, because I'm going to give you a basic explanation right now. But if you want to be 100% sure, you can check my previous lesson, which will really help you to understand very, very clearly, because lots and lots of mistakes are made over this simple point of countable and uncountable nouns. So, what is a countable noun? A noun, first of all, in this case, we're talking about a person, place, or thing, or idea, or event, okay? Usually, people say a person, place, or thing. If these are nouns, things, that we can count, then we call them countable nouns. For example, chairs, right? We can say one chair, two chairs, and if we're talking about people, places, or things that we cannot count as such, or in English are considered something that we cannot count, then those are called uncountable nouns. For example, furniture, okay? So we can say one chair and two chairs, but we cannot say the same for furniture. Furniture just stays furniture. You don't add an S at any time. It represents that group, okay? All right, so now let's understand the difference between few and little and how they work. So the word few, first of all, means a little bit, okay? It means not too many, but it's used for things which we can count. And little is like this, right? A little. So those are used with the uncountable nouns. So we would say, for example, futures, but Little furniture. We would say a few computers. I have a few computers in the office. 
and I have a little equipment in my office now, right? Now, I'm not explaining yet the difference between few and a few and little and a little. We will get to that. But first, let's just understand this difference between when we use few and when we use little. Few is with anything we can count. Little is with anything we cannot count. Okay, so we say a few reports. I have to complete a few reports or I need a little information. Reports we can count. Information in English we cannot count. We cannot add an S to any of these words. Okay, next. I have a few assignments to complete or I have a little homework. We cannot add an S there. Okay, so first and foremost, make sure that you know the difference between the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns. No, second, that we use few or a few with the countable noun. And we use little and a little with the uncountable noun. Okay, got that? Now, let's move to the next stage and understand the difference between few and a few. And little and a little. Okay? So let's start by looking first at the difference between a few and few. In this case, that little word a eh, makes a big difference. Let's understand what that difference is. Okay. So first of all, if I'm saying a few, it just means some. A small number okay and we said that this is for this is always countable noun right but if i say just few then it means not enough not many okay now let's understand what that means as soon as you see the examples you'll understand exactly what i mean Let's start with the first one, okay? So if I say he has a few friends, what does it mean? He has a few friends, he has some friends, he has a, a small number of friends, but he's good with that. He's happy, all right? He has a few friends, nothing wrong. But if I say, he has few friends, that actually means the opposite. It means the way he feels he doesn't have enough friends. He wishes he had more friends. You understand? It means not many, not enough. That is the idea there. So here, when we say he has few friends, that becomes an unhappy situation a negative here he has a few friends it's a positive here he has few friends it's a negative okay so you see how that little word a uh, can make such a big difference with a few and also as we're gonna see in a few minutes a little okay but let's stay here first let's look at another example if i say i have a few ideas it means i have some ideas that's a positive i'm happy <laughs> okay but if i say oh i don't know what to do I have few ideas. That's a negative 
because I wish I had more ideas, right? I don't have. I feel like I don't have enough ideas. There is not many here, and I wish I had more. Okay? Do you have the difference? See the difference there. Now it becomes a negative. I have a few ideas. I'm happy. I have few ideas. I'm unhappy. Okay, all right. Let's look at some more examples. Now, this word is kind of like positive words. Now, let's look at what happens when we're talking about words which are themselves a little bit negative. Okay? Now, we're getting very nuanced and detailed. Let's understand. If I say, he has a few problems, has some problems, okay. But problems itself is a negative word. So if I say he has a few problems, that's not a good thing. That is kind of like a sad thing. Let's say or negative thing, okay? He has a few problems is a negative thing. But now, look at what happens. Look at the magic here. If I say, he has few problems, that means he doesn't have that many. That suddenly becomes a good thing. Okay, he has few problems. Everything's all right with him. Okay, so here. Yeah. Few problems became a positive. What if I say he has a few problems that becomes a negative? So it also depends which word we're putting after a few and few. If it's kind of like a positive word, then it has one meaning. If it's kind of like a negative word, then it has a different meaning. Let's take another example. If I say, he makes a few mistakes. Okay, that's not good. It's never great to make mistakes. So that's kind of like a negative, right? See the... Hmm, Peroni face there. Okay, he made a few mistakes. He made some mistakes. What if I say he made few mistakes in his homework or in his report? That's good thing. That means not very many. Okay, not so many. So this becomes a positive. Do you see the difference between a few and a few? Do you see the difference in meaning? Okay, try it out. Think it through. Write for yourself just now. Or think for yourself. Write a sentence about yourself and say, I have a few something, even about friends, or you have a few friends or do you have few friends do you have a few did you make a few mistakes or did you make few mistakes okay now let's look at little and a little it works the same way so now let's just review a little or little we use with what Uncountable noun. Okay, so let's look at how that works. A little means some or a small amount, and little means not enough or not much. Let's look at the example. So we understand clearly. Okay, 
So if I say, I have a little time before my flight, that's a positive thing. So I have a little time before my flight. I'm gonna get something to eat, all right? That's a positive thing. But if I say, I have little time before my flight. I don't have time to get anything to eat, okay? That's a negative thing. That means I have not enough time, okay? So you see the difference there. A little is just like a neutral statement, all right? But this is usually something a little bit different. Let's look at another example. I had a little sleep last night. I'm feeling better now. That's a positive. But I had a little sleep last night. I'm so tired. Okay? So this becomes a negative. And again, little means not enough in this case. And here, it just means I had some sleep. It's fine. Everything's okay. All right? Now, let's look when. What happens when the nouns are actually a little bit negative themselves? So, for example, um, he had a little trouble with his car. Okay? That's not a good thing, right? So he's not too happy there. You can see that. But he has, he's had little trouble with his car since he bought it. That's a good thing, okay? He didn't have much trouble. Let's look at another example. She has a little anger towards him. That's a negative, all right? She has a little anger. She has some anger, a small amount of anger towards him. But if I say she has little anger towards him, it's okay, she got over it. That means she doesn't have much anger towards him, okay? So now you see that these words, a little and a little, can have such a difference in meaning, right? And I hope that you're getting it and understanding it and absorbing it. If you need to, you know, go back, watch it again until it really sinks in. And you get it. But now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice with a few examples and putting these words into sentence so that they make sense. Let's do that. Okay, so now let's practice together and apply what you have learned so far. Okay, I'm gonna do it with you. No worries, okay? So we have eight sentences. Yes. In the first four, you have to add either a few or few. Because here we're talking about countable things. And in the last four, you're gonna add a little or little. Because here we're talking about uncountable things. All right. Okay, so let's begin. Now, what I've also done, you'll probably see all these faces here, right? And some are all smiley faces and some are not. Some are the opposite. So when you see a smiley face, you're going to say something positive. So, for example, whenever there is a smiley face, I'm gonna say, fortunately, 
Because in English, whenever we give some good news, we say, fortunately. When we give some bad news, we say, unfortunately. Okay, say it after me. Fortunately, unfortunately. Okay, good. So, let's get started. So, here. Fortunately, there were blank doctors who could help us. Which one would you say? Fortunately, there were a few doctors who could help us. Okay. This is a good thing. Now, negative. Unfortunately, there were mm, doctors who could help us. So here we're going to say the opposite. Unfortunately, there were few doctors who could help us. So when we say there were a few doctors who could help us, we were saying, oh, it's good. There are a few, there are some doctors who can help us. Then we said, there were few doctors who could help us. It means there were not many doctors who could help us. Okay, so one is positive, one is negative. And therefore, we're using a few or few. Next. This is not a happy situation. So we say, unfortunately, we've had hmm, issues with our computers. Let's see. Unfortunately, we've had a few issues with our computers. That's a good thing. Oh, sorry. That's a bad thing, right? We've had a few issues with our computers. That's not good. You don't want to have a few issues with your computer. Now, positive. Fortunately, we've had. It's going to be the opposite. Fortunately, we've had few issues, okay, with our computer. And that one means that's good. We didn't have too many problems with our computer. Okay. All right. I hope you're still with me. And stay with me. You will get it. Okay. Next. A little and little. So let's say you're a French speaker and you're somewhere where they don't wear Everybody speaks English, but you're really looking for someone who speaks French, okay? And you meet some people, but then you, and you say, okay, fortunately, they speak French. You're happy. So you say, fortunately, they speak a little French. Good. But then the other side, you could say, unfortunately, they don't speak enough French. So, how do we say that? Unfortunately, they speak little French. Okay, all right, next. So this is a good thing. Fortunately, she's made blank progress. This is good. Fortunately, she's made a little progress. Okay. And the last one, which is a negative. Unfortunately, you want to say here, she hasn't made enough progress. So we say, Unfortunately, she's made little progress. 
fried needle progress. Okay. What is progress? Progress means moving forward. Now you have made a lot of progress. Okay, today by watching this lesson, I really congratulate you. This is an advanced lesson as far as this part goes. Okay? That first part about countable, uncountable, but pretty basic. That's sort of a beginner and intermediate point. But these are advanced points. So if you've got it, that's amazing. It's gonna make a tremendous difference in your English. What can you do now? Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can continue to get lots of interesting lessons like this that will help you to improve your English level. Thanks very much for watching and all the best with your English. Bye for now.